After our previous sea experience, I wanted to learn more about marine life. As a result, our next trip takes us to the land down under, to a place I've been dreaming of visiting ever since I was a kid, Australia. My name is Trevor LeClaire, and it's time to explore the sunshine coast of Queensland and take a dive into the Great Barrier Reef. Guys, my camera. To begin our expedition, let's visit Mongola Station where we'll take a wagon ride along a local wetland. Mongola is a well-known birding hotspot containing both resident and migratory birds. Mongola Station is home to the Dawahi Aboriginal people who have occupied tropical North Queensland for over 45,000 years. Their culture has been passed down through stories, dance, and art. Check out those artistic designs on those tools. Did you know that in Aboriginal culture, only men are allowed to play the didgeridoo? Lucky for me, I'm able to show off my musical talent to the rest of the group. How hard can this be? Try this. We call them didges. Yay! You gotta actually do circular breathing? Pretty hard. Okay, so maybe I have some work to do, but it was worth a shot. After some face paint, let's do something I know I can do. Throw a boomerang, yeah! <laughs> Apparently, the Nawahi people would throw them into a large flock of birds to knock one out of the sky for dinner. I bet I could catch this dinner. Ooh, that was bad. And it just got worse. Well, it looks like we're starving tonight. Unlike the Aboriginal people who lived in Central Australia, the Nawahi had an abundance of supplies for food and tools. Even the Great Barrier Reef played a huge role in their survival. A great place to learn more about the reef and see some amazing fish is Reef HQ, which is located in Townsville, Queensland an aquarium that serves as a national education center for the reef. Oh. Is this recording? It is too. <laughs> hey. Camera work by Craig, I want credits. <laughs> Every time I visit in an aquarium, I always dreamed of the possibility to dive in the tanks among all the fish. To my surprise, that was a dream I was finally able to accomplish. Boom! Once our steam suits were on, it was time to jump in and say hello to all the little fishies. Oh, and this gorgeous little zebra shark. This tank is the world's largest living coral reef aquarium. Receiving the opportunity to snorkel in this tank definitely adds an extra bonus to this rewarding trip. The joys of being a graduate student. And now it's dinner time for all the sharks. Taking a squid. <laughs> Slimy, yet satisfying. <laughs> Reef HQ is also known for its on-site turtle hospital where sick and injured sea turtles are cared for before being released back into the wild. These turtles face all kinds of threats in the wild, such as boat strikes, fishing nets and hooks, and even litter. Another threat is the floating syndrome, which prevents them from diving and foraging for food. 
All these threats can lead to death without medical attention. However, not every tragedy ends in a sad story. Every now and then, we have a happy ending and today is that day. A green sea turtle has recovered and is ready to be released back into the wild. So normally with the bigger turtles, we hold them by the shoulders. It's got a little bit more support, but for a little turtle like this, we're able to just pick it up. Pop him in the tray, he'll flap about a bit again. And we just cover his face. If they can't see anything, they feel a lot more secure. Free, my little friend. Oh, and out to sea it goes towards Magnetic Island, which is exactly where we are going next. An island that was once part of the mainland 7,500 years ago. The rising sea level isolated this island, creating a beautiful place where more than 180 species of birds live. Considering more than half the island is a national park, it's time to take a hike to see what craters lurk within the bush. Oh look! A wallaby! Awesome! Hiking along the rocky coast, more allied rock wallabies bounce around the granite boulders. Look! I made a new friend! Isn't she adorable? No matter how cute they are and how much they beg, it is very important to restrain from feeding them because our food can have negative effects on their survival which is not good for these hopping marsupials. It's better to just admire and enjoy their company. Thank you. While hiking among the forest, we search in the eucalyptus trees for a marsupial that is capable of sleeping up to 20 hours a day, the koala. Aww, how cute. Speaking of koalas, let's meet a rescue koala at Bungalow Bay Koala Village. An animal who has lost some mobility in his back legs due to an accident he is now an ambassador for his species. Oh, so fluffy! Yeah, he's eating. Yep, I'm in love. As night falls, let's finish our magnetic island adventure with a little bit of coconut bowling. Do the stakes proud! What a great way to end the night! My name is Trevor, and it's time for a Great Fairy Reef Adventure. Yay! And now, the adventure you have all been waiting for, the Great Barrier Reef. It is an early morning voyage as you board the boat and venture out to sea. An expedition that takes two hours to reach the reef. But when you love voyages as much as I do, time flies while admiring the beauty of the sea. Destination reach, not an island in sight, just a vast, calm blue ocean. Let's take a dive. The Great Barrier Reef is one of the most biological diverse ecosystems on Earth. A marine park that is about 70 million football fields long, or the size of Japan, it is home to all kinds of animals ranging from fish, coral, mollusks, and so many more magnificent sea creatures. Diving deeper into the reef, 
We swim among large rocky columns covered with all kinds of coral, providing habitat for all the species that thrive in this nutrient poor water. When it comes to natural history, there is so much to learn and so much to see. This has been an epic Australian expedition as we traveled from one place to the next. Our adventures aren't over yet. We have one more expedition before we complete this journey of a graduate student. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on our final graduate school expedition.